Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Banished. I looked around a little bit on this little road over here. Um, I realized that the only way I could actually build this road in a good way was to build it around the entire shit. Because if I try to connect, let's see if we can do it again. If I try to connect this road with that road, it want to build it all the way around. So that's not a good thing really. No. Uh, instead, let's see, I can't... Oh shit. That's kind of bad. Well, we have to build a row like this then, yep, as I did before, but I removed again because I hoped that I could build it up there, but I couldn't. Yeah, so let's start this off again. Let's see, you had nothing of value to sell to us, I'm sorry. Can I ask you to... No, it's the wrong boat. Sorry. Yeah. Um, let's see, we've got some people dying off again. We've got people replacing them as well, which is all right. Yeah. Producing enough iron, enough of most things. Let's see, what are my people actually building right now? Are you... They're working. So what are you going to work with? The okay, they're working with the road. That's... That makes sense, yeah. Look at that. Mm. The weird thing is though, they kind of flatten this area out, so can I... Nope, it's still this part. What if I make a road over here? <laughs> can I flatten this one then? I hope so. If that would flatten this part out, that would be great. Then I can remove this road and build it, you know, in a different way again. Build the road! Build the road! Come on, build, build the road! Why won't you build the road? God damn it, there you go. Ooh, does this work? No, nope, still can't, okay. I guess I get the same trait as before. I guess I have to wait for them to actually build the other ones as well. Oh, no, it's still, it's still. If I build a road there then, does that work? Nope, still can't build there, because of some reason. I don't really know why. Let's pause this shit. Yeah, okay. Uh, that did not work out the way I wanted it to, God damn it! Remove these roads, please. Sorry! <laughs> I did not mean to do anything weird there. Yeah, it took some time. So what are we going to do today? Let's see here. We have a lot of firewood, a lot of food. Do we only... do we have the limit? No, they actually somehow managed to get exactly 5,500, okay. Um, so what are we going to do? Log limit, let's give it a thousand then, sure. So let's see, I just want to check out some road efficiency here. See how it goes for our farmers, they're going over there, okay. What about this one, okay, mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that works fine, sure. Um, okay, you're working down there. Maybe we're maybe we should build a road down there. I don't know though. Might be a bad idea. I don't know. So we want more cows as well. We want to build. Hmm. Maybe we can start building wells. Actually, we have herbalists. We have. Have we built everything that we can actually build? I think so. No, we have to build. Boarding house. This might be a nice house to build actually. I like the look of this house. So let's actually build this house if we can. I hope so. Um, yeah, of course we can, but I mean, I hope that we will find a nice place to fit it as well. Not in here as well, okay. At least, yeah. So let's see, I can actually, I can build it over here, but that's not really good enough. No, let's see. I mean, if you are living in a boarding house, then you don't have a home. Now that means you are an outcast, and then you can't live in the actual town, no. Uh, so if we ever need anyone to get a home, you're going in there, mother crackers, yeah. We have enough of everything to actually build this place, so, yeah. <laughs> I feel a little bit sorry for them, but, I mean, I can't build it in the actual city. That I will Blah. Try again there, yeah. <laughs> Can't build it in the actual city, that would be horrible, that's what I tried to say. Yeah, it wouldn't look too nice and they might spread diseases and everything. Yeah, and if we actually build this boarding house, we would probably have a greater chance to actually accept um, nomads, immigrants and all that stuff. Yeah, that would be kind of good. So now we have three adult cows, they're all dancing with each other and that's good. Yeah, 
Look at that butt move. That's great. Mm. You gotta love those cow butts. Especially eating them. That would be nice. Yeah. So let's see. Why aren't you making... Did the brewer die or something? No, we have a brewer. Okay. I don't know why he's not producing any ale. Because we have the wheat necessary for it. I hope at least. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're a little bit cold. Oh, too bad. Well, you got into... Into the warm hut as well then. Yeah, that's good. So let's see, we have... Okay. What are the builders doing? It's cold. Finding some... Getting somewhere to eat. Picking up resources. Picking up resources. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, take care of this. That's great. Sweet. You're doing a great job, my lady. And you are all doing a good job. Yes, help each other out here. That's good. We're having a lot of children still. 31 children. Might be actually time to build yet another school. I think so. Yeah, let's build a little bit of a road. Let's see. This road. I know I can build stone roads as well, but I don't really want to do it just yet though. Here we go. Can we actually build the school? It might be a good idea to build it. Let's see. Yeah, let's build the schoolhouse like this, and then we can build yet another road in between here. Yep, up here. That's a good one. Great. Yes, and we were connecting the city, obviously. That's great. I don't know why I have this road here, actually. Firewood is low. That should not be a problem. Maybe the guys working with it are taking a rest or something. I don't know. Let's remove this road because it will not be needed. Let's just keep nature strong there instead. Yeah, that's good. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, but right now, how's it going with the boarding house? Are you... Yeah, they're clearing up this crap. That's good. We have enough logs soon enough. We need some stone. We have enough stone as well. That's nice. We don't have enough firewood. That shouldn't be a problem, to be honest. Hmm... Yeah, what I think of though is building these stone houses, actually if we look over them, provides a place for citizens to live, eat, store food and stay warm, provides more warmth than wooden homes. So if we replace these wooden homes with these stone houses, would we spend less firewood? I hope so. Shit. Look at this. <laughs> That's a great name. Dev Angel. It's like the devil and angel in once. <laughs> so this is our yeah, devilish child that will kill us all. Obviously. Quite frankly, yeah. But we we have we have a lot of stone actually. Yeah, over a hundred stone, that's great. So let's see, they are producing this boarding home or boarding house, that's good. I mean it's over here for a reason. We don't want we don't want filthy diseases in our village. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you understand. I'm doing this for their own good, not for me. No. So let's see. Yeah, we got one school over here. And this school area, yeah. Actually, it's a good one. Um It's a great one. Yeah, it's good to have two schools. It's really, really good, especially once we have 29 students. I was thinking a little bit of what to do, actually. I mean, from now on, I guess we might only try to buy more materials, buy more, f you know, fruits and everything. There's one coming. Hopefully, he's got something for us of use. I hope so. Let's actually get one trader or two traders. And let's uh, inventory go and get... 120 hide coats and 60 tools. Why not? We have a lot of both of those, so do it. Go fetch them. Yeah, and this merchant man, he will see this boarding house in progress. He'll spread the word. They got a boarding house. And therefore, all the nomads, they'll be like, damn, gotta go there. Trade. He doesn't have anything of value. What the fuck? What's wrong? Can't he bring. Bring me an animal or a seed. I don't want your fucking fresh food. I got fresh food. Enough of it as well. F 
5,000 fresh food. Fuck you, merchant. Go home. I think you're drunk, but anyway. You can't stay here. There we go. The boarding house is soon complete. That's good. Hopefully people won't move in here. Uh, that's nice. It's away from the center. That's great. Hmm. Huh. Sweet. Uh, what about the school? It should be complete soon. Yeah, let's actually... We have 100 rocks still. That's a lot of rock, to be honest. Maybe we should build some houses over here and make them collect more stone, I guess. Yeah, I guess we need to spread out more in a better way. But first of all, let's build some more houses, actually, because that will be nice. You gotta love those houses, yeah. Look, this house actually fits perfectly <laughs> in between. That's, that's... Oh, it's because these three, of course. I'm stupid. <laughs> Am I not? Yeah, I'm fucking stupid. So let's build like this, bam, and then we can actually build yet another road up here and across. Look at that's fantastic. A little quarter actually, that's that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. So right now all of these workers they'll do the best they can to build these nice houses, yeah. That's good. I really, really need to, to look at them even. Uh, except for that, herbs collect more. 300. Might be good to have a little, you know, uh, an upper upper border though, so we don't collect too much and extinct all the herbs. I don't know if you can do that, but... Oh, that's right. We need another teacher as well. Teacher! Another one! Great! Here we go. Welcome the students. Here we go. One student. That's nice. That's good. We are almost up to 20 students, therefore it's good to have another school. Yeah. And none of these kids are too cool for school. They know it. Yeah, they do. And this one... Hmm, we're out of stone, actually. That's, that's bad. I guess it's time. It's ugly. No, wait a minute. We have this one, of course. I was about to build a quarry, but... As I said once again, I do not like the quarries at all. In fact, I hate the quarries. I hate them with my entire heart. Honestly. Yeah. So, laborers. Collect the stone, all of you! Where, where the fuck is he going? Oh, he's taking the one the furthest away first. That's okay, I guess. Are you doing the same? Oh, it seems like it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, if you want to go all the way over there, do it. Yeah. We might actually want to expand our farming and hunting, especially hunting over here. We have a lot of area to build on. This one, maybe we should conserve this part. Maybe we should expand, once we're done over here, we should expand our village over here, I guess. Make it more or less a town, I guess. What are we low on? Reserve of firewood is low. Do we need another firewood cutter? That feels kind of extreme, actually, to be honest. I don't want to be rude or anything, but... I mean, maybe it's time to... Get rid of some wood houses, and... I mean, people will be homeless for a little while, but we'll replace them with... With stone houses, I promise. Let's remove this one and this one. There we go, you're homeless! Doesn't matter, you got the boarding house, that's awesome. So if you can just remove these... Houses, please. Can you do that? So that I can build some pure, proper stone houses instead. Please, can you do it? They won't do it. That's weird. Oh, they need to empty the houses, of course. Of course. 32% <laughs> storage remaining on both of these. Just carry it all out! Come on! Let's see how the this one works now. Oh no! Poor persons! They need to live here now. Students, children, laborers. Poor, 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 poor fellas. Yeah. So if we can just... There we go. Destroy it! Look, there's tools on the ground. That's nice. Can you just destroy these houses, please? Is it too much to demand? I guess so. Oh, no, there, there, she's... Yeah, oh, nice, nice, yeah, do it, do it! 
Sweet. Awesome. And once you're done, let's actually turn this one this way. That's a little bit more nice, actually, to be honest. I think so, at least. And this one's complete as well. Great. Here we go. Two more stone houses built. And that would probably, hopefully, help us to, um, yeah, decrease the usage of firewood for now at least I don't know if this is your how you're supposed to do it but ah, it's the way it is it's the way it is yeah right now at least okay so we have 10 laborers can I actually I think they gathered all the stone over here that's good enough gather some more over here then let's see you can do this yeah sure nice you're still living in here, but soon enough, my friends, you will be able to move back home. It's like the extreme home makeover. That's awesome! <laughs> yeah, we're helping them out here. Extreme home makeover! I mean, medieval edition, of course. <laughs> nice! That's epic. They're like, okay, you gotta leave. Leave your home, go to this nice, fancy hotel for a while and they're like we don't want to be here. and then they come home and the entire village is like look what we did for you and they're like yeah wow they're just running around checking out all the rooms which should be like two rooms <laughs> and they're so goddamn happy it's epic imagine yeah I like it I like it a lot we have 11 laborers that's actually a lot Let's see we can have 10 miles, let's get another vendor, or vendor, vendor, I don't know how you say it, vendor, vendor, something like that. Hmm, yeah, and the rest is actually going strong, that's good. Is this graveyard full yet? Seems so, yeah, it is. It's full. We need to produce another graveyard somewhere, maybe over here, next to the boarding house. Look at them, they're all running over here. That's great. Oh, another trader. Hello, what do you got for us? Trade. Sheep. Nice. Let's buy two sheep then. There we go. Sweet. Um, trade. Give us those goddamn sheep. That's great. We're going to set up another sheep pen. Sweet. And you can go home now, trader. Bye bye. Let's see, it's over here. How big can we make it? Oh, that's a large pen! I want this one, this large. Let's make it! Don't ask me why, but I want the largest pen in the world! That's not good for this guy though, but... I guess I'll... I guess I'll move this guy out here sooner rather than later. Da, he can survive! It's just some sheep, I mean, they smell, but anyway... Oh, look, we have a lot of cows now. Nice! So we have seven out of seven cows somehow, I guess they mass produce or whatever it's called they shagged a lot basically now we have seven cows so when another cow gets born we can slaughter it they have actually already slaughtered at least one cow that's great actually it might be enough for us to make yet another um, pen over here or something which we can Let's see. yeah it should be pro it should be able to get in here um, I feel a little sorry for this Godower's hut. I mean, he got a lot of stuff around the other side, though. I guess he's going away anyway. I mean, if there's any way anywhere we're expanding our village, it's over here. Actually, to be honest, yeah, build it along the mountainside towards the ri river. Uh, we've got some more farms here, but that's okay. Look at this. They're making a great work, actually. That's fantastic. Can we get two more builders, even though it might not be needed? I don't know. Maybe they'll help out. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, this is fa actually fantastic. We can have like a hundred sheep in here. We'll be like New Zealand of the sheeps. <laughs> I guess. Let's just see. Let, let them finish this one and then we can see how much we can actually basically yeah, how much how many sheep we can have in here. <laughs> These cows they're still alive. Great. Look at this. He's just Oh look, that little cow escaped. Oh, he jumped back in again. He noticed that I saw him and he's like, whoops. <laughs> Can't get busted or I'll get murdered. That's actually how we do. If a sheep figures out a way 
of getting out of um, <coughs> you know getting out of, of the pen then if you notice that sheep doing it then you slaughter it directly because it might learn the other sheep to do the same that's actually a true story I've seen it happen uh, <laughs> which is kind of nice yeah they're making fun of it in Monty Python as well yeah with the flying sheep if you've seen that one I don't know though if you have or not but yeah it's, it's a nice one sure no one's living in the boarding house I want more nomads soon I want them now come over here nomads come on oh that's good look at this sweet oh we actually can have sheep 25 sheep yeah nice let's have two herdsmen in there might not be needed yet but hell that's good sweet oh shit we're running low on food actually that's not good that is not good I mean it's not it's not really you know what to say it um, a real real whatever it's called it's not really we're not suffering that's what I'm trying to say but we might want to build another hmm god or sat I guess it will be can build it over here sure builders build it and then we need hunters on the other side yep sure nice we have enough of everything let's produce let's get six workers over there yeah sure I'm not sure if we can build a nice tiny little road or maybe we have to build around I guess that's a better idea I don't want any fucking ugly roads on the side here Um, yeah the food it's looking not too good I guess not yeah that might be I mean we need to hurry I mean it's, it's spring of course uh, we just have the fetish dog but yeah then we can harvest these seeds the crop fields and then we'll be good to go again I hope uh, but we need to hurry up with these ones please can you all of you just Build it, please. Build it. I can see it. It's it's hovering around 2,000. It's scary. Okay. It's really really scary. Oh, nomads. I really shouldn't accept them right now. 19. No way. Jose. Hopefully, some of them is at least one of them is named Jose. So I actually said that one correctly. I can't accept them right now. Honestly, I need to expand food production a lot before I can do that. Um, yeah, it's tempting, but I can't do it right now. They'll have to wait. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah. Nomads. Oh, are they queuing? That's actually actually kind of cute. I've seen it. Yeah, look at this. These are the nomads. They're queuing outside. <laughs> That's kind of cute, actually. I've seen some photos when people try, like, they want to, or at least a hundred nomads want to, to uh, come and visit at the same time. You know, they want to get in there, but they can't really because there's too many people, sort of. Um, I don't know what I was trying to say there, but basically, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense, for me at least. I don't know if it makes sense for you, but... That's that's not part of my problem, at least now. So let's see here. We're just going to finish these off, and then we are done for this episodes. Actually, th this episode. Okay, the food is slightly increasing again. It's not as you know as rough or whatever you call it. We're not um, really that whatever you say. It's not a problem. Here we go get some more gatherers there we go nice sweet and you are doing good as well yes you are nice ass if you like ass of course that's what I'm trying to say oh no Ilya the gatherer has died how sad yeah and I know that there's a lot of what do you say a lot of traveling distance right now so probably we'll build some houses over here 
next to the sea we can build some fishing hut as well and uh, that would probably probably be a quite good idea and soon enough these sheep will start to, to produce offsprings as well and everything will, will be absolutely fantastic and fine and everything yeah but until the next time hopefully you enjoyed this episode hopefully i'll see you all around then yeah so until then have a great time and goodbye <laughs>